vinegar in nature has a ability to pull things out of other things. It uh, is a very good medium for extracting. What I want to do is put things into the vinegar that will be amendments to particular things that I want to grow in a plant. I want to plant uh, maybe flower, or maybe I want it to fruit or ripen more quickly. There are things that can be added that allow you to regulate the way in which the hormones are operating in a plant. When I want to make a plant spray, I put equal parts of coconut water and rejuvelac together in a gallon bucket. That gallon bucket, if left by itself, will start to form a little skin on it over time. It doesn't smell like real nice rejuvelac because it's starting to get a bacterial mat on top of it. The bacteria in that mat are changing the sugars in the ferment and the enzymes into vinegar. And the vinegar is what does the extraction when you want to make a plant spray. So once you get a little bit of a ferment happening with the rejuvenac and the coconut water, you can sprinkle some baker's yeast on top of that and let that settle uh, for a day or two and you'll see a little bubbling happens and then maybe you'll get a cap. When you do that, you get a really strong ferment, a vinegar ferment that creates a bacterial mat that we call the mother. This is a bacteria that are experts at making vinegar. The vinegars dissolve plant material. And when you want to make a spray, you want to add some other things to it. You want to put some herbs in it to accentuate a fruiting or whatever. Then the vinegar is a little better way to go, but it's a lot more complex. It takes a lot more time. So here's the vinegar in the bucket there that's finished. Uh, this is a simple siphon, just a copper wire, wound with some tubing from Home Depot. Works really good. I'll put that in my vinegar. Just a little bit. I'm going to siphon a little bit in here so we can add some amendments. Good siphon is worth its weight in gold. So now I have a vinegar from all of those things that's been in there for a couple weeks. Um, it has a really strong um, vinegar flavor to it, but it's very beautiful. It's not cranky or ugly. It's very, very nice. There are things that can be added that allow you to regulate the way in which the hormones are operating in a plant. So some of those things are uh, minerals. So this is a mineral here, it's called langbenite. You get it at uh, Peaceful Valley Farm Supply. It's a naturally occurring uh, rock powder. Just granules of what looks basically like sand, but it's a marine, ancient marine deposit, and it is a material called sulpome, and that is sul is sulfur, po is potassium, mag is magnesium. So this particular mineral is a very beautiful. Uh, source of sulfur balanced to potassium balanced to magnesium, which covers practically everything in the plant world 
except for phosphorus. So I always add a little bit of sulpo mag to any spray because what it does is it helps the plant that getting sprayed on the leaf to assimilate what's on the leaf. Sulpo mag is a, a very good, very gentle um, mineral supplement for plant growth. It takes a long while for a sulpo mag to dissolve. So you have to boil it and um, when you boil it, it takes a while for even that to dissolve, but when you do, you get a liquid sulpo mag. That's about the right ratio of sulpo mag. I, I don't measure a lot, but you know, um, you don't really have to if you're moderate. So now I have uh, a vinegar that has a mineral content. And what I want to do is say that I want to use this vinegar to um, enhance the oil production in a medicinal plant. In order to do that, I add um, a hydrosol of um, oils that have been pulled out of the plants that I harvest and I uh, distill. This is a hydrosol made from many, many members of the mint family, the labia family. They are very good at digesting things. There aren't so much still here. And make the hydrosol, you can see it's kind of cloudy. That cloudiness is the oils or terpenes that are suspended in the water. Hydrosols are very beautiful things to work with. I want to add a little bit of that to this vinegar because I want to use this vinegar as a spray for my medicinal plants. What will happen is all the hormones and enzymes that are captured in the vinegar from everything we've done so far will unite with the hydrosol. And when I spray that on the leaves of uh, uh, a helichrysum or a basil or whatever, lavender, the lavender plant will be able to utilize a very wide range of terpenes that are already formed and I won't have to strain out of its root to make a really good medicinal spray. So we're going to make a specific medicinal spray now out of the basic vinegar. With this, uh, all, with all of this work with the vinegars and everything, less is more. There's a rule in plant growth that if there's too much of one thing, the plant shuts down, they're making that thing. So we're just trying to make a spray here that you put the minimal amount of application of these things on the plant and um, the plant can synthesize that and be able to kind of kick up its uh, production uh, up a notch. That's what we're trying to do. So too much of a hydrosol, too much of the sulfur mag, and the plant will shut down its ability to assimilate them. It's kind of a basic rule for this. So less is more. Tiny little bits of these amendments really, really help. So that's now a, a finished vinegar terpene spray. If I wish to use that, in a spray. I need to dilute it even further. So this is a sprayer that holds a liter of water. I usually fill it about three quarters of the way through. And now I'm going to add some of my terpene vinegar. 
I'll add about a quarter cup of that to a liter of water. Very nice fragrance. It smells kind of like a lemonade. If it smells like lemonade, it's good. If it smells like bilge water, it's not good. That's the idea. The application of this will be, again, with the rule of less is more. So I mix it in with the water, pump it up a bit, and I set my sprayer on the finest setting that I can to make a very fine mist.